welcome back to the channel today i have an iron head 2.8 cylinder head here uh, i see a lot of people still messing around with these old iron head engines um, i don't know if they just uh don't like to go fast or what or if they're just uh too stubborn to upgrade to fancy aluminum heads or maybe they just kind of want to keep it looking stock Whatever their reason is, um, I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of info on these. Um, this is a 1983 cylinder head. It's uh, what they call the low output version. The HO versions had a bigger exhaust valve and I believe a bigger intake valve as well. These ones here have a 1.6 intake valve and a 1.307 exhaust valve. Uh, funny story. I could not find what I did with the exhaust valve that I had from this head. So I used the, the 260 valve here. And this is a 1.300, so it's actually a little bit smaller. Same valve stem diameter, so it uh, works for flow testing. So I'll give you guys a look at the port here. You see there's some room for improvement. Nothing crazy. It's pretty simple exhaust port there. Just to look at the outlet here. Um, as you can see with the spark plug upside down, that this is the top of the head here. You can see there's a nice little dog leg in there. Kind of direct the flow. Learn that it's uh, pretty straightforward. Take a quick look at the intake port here. Intake port. There's always room for improvement. And the part that there's the most controversy about, everybody wants to know, is if this vein helps it or not. This, from what I understand, is mostly just kind of to direct the airflow. It's probably just like GM's uh, other 80 cylinder heads where they're trying to get a little bit of swirl into it. I'm not quite sure. Here's a look from the other angle. Just flipping it upside down. Get a better idea of what the port looks like. It's uh, fairly straightforward. So uh, I do have some flow numbers on this. I'll uh, give you some flow numbers now. And then I'll show you what I did to port one of these ports. I decided just to flow test this port and I had another port already ported. I had flow numbers for that before and after, um, but that was probably about 15 years ago, so I'm not quite sure where those numbers are now. And the one website I posted them on, uh, Full Throttle V6, is uh, no longer, so I wasn't able just to go on there and pull my numbers from that site. Anyways, uh, let's get a look at the, the intake port there. I'll show you the flow numbers and we'll get to, over to the, the ported port. So here's your intake numbers here. Uh, that's for stock port that I just showed you guys. Nothing too crazy. Now I'll show you guys, uh, give you guys a look at the ported port. So this was just a, a quick port job on the intake side. Um, I was basically just doing it before and after, kind of see what kind of improvement I could get out of these. Uh, it was just for fun, basically. I seen somebody else posting their flow numbers or their port work, so I decided, oh, I'll give it a try and see what I can get out of it. So I left the vein in there. I just kind of sharpened it a little. Uh, nothing crazy. And I did raise the, the roof of the port a little bit. Here's a look from the bowl area. Uh, probably still some room for improvement. Just kind of cleaned up the short turn there. Narrowed the guide. Uh, just the basic stuff there. Now I'll show you guys the, the results from that. So that was the before numbers. And that's what we got out of it ported. So uh, a decent little gain there. Um, nothing crazy. I'm sure this port would pick up better with the bigger valves. Um, probably a little bit more work too, or 
a lot more work since it's iron and it takes longer. Um, other than that, uh, that's what you can kind of expect from just that little bit of work. So, um, what I'm going to do next on this, I think I'm going to do a little bit more work and uh, make another video and see what kind of improvements we can get out of this. I want to try a little bit more work on the short term, maybe clean up that bowl a little better. Uh, raise the roof a little bit more. I'll test it again, and then after that, we will grind this uh, vein out of here. And see if it actually is uh, worth getting rid of or not. Because I'm sure everybody wants to know if that's a good idea to remove that or just to leave it in there. So we'll have some uh, flow numbers to actually provide and see if uh, you should be hogging that out or not. So now uh, let's take a look at the exhaust flow numbers. Here's the exhaust flow numbers here. So you can see uh, not too far off of the intake port actually. But uh, yep, here they are. Uh, not much I can say about that. It's an iron head. So we'll uh, show you the port work now and then I'll show you what kind of uh, flow we gained out of the, doing the port work. Quick look at the bowl here. Uh, I just kind of narrowed the guide, cleaned up the bowl, nothing crazy. I will note I also did a little bit of polishing on the chambers, or on the chamber, and I uh, deshrouded the, the valves just a little bit, just on the edges here. Um, nothing crazy. This is the first one that I've touched, and that was the last one that I've touched, so um, I know the results maybe a little skewed since I didn't use the same port back to back but uh, I really didn't feel like porting another one completely start to finish just for uh, some flow numbers and uh, this will give you uh, a good enough idea of what can be done and what can be gained so and moving on uh, the exhaust outlet to here um, I basically just kind of Open the port up a little bit, made it a little bit larger, uh, straighten it out some, probably raise the roof just a little bit as well. Kind of all the same things I was, usually did with the, the three one heads. Um, it didn't seem to work nearly as well as it does on the three one, but uh, that's uh, all there is to it. There's not a whole lot there. I could try to get a little more out of this, but I don't think it's... Uh, really going to help too much without going to a bigger valve and fixing up this chamber quite a bit with the, the valve job that's on there. So uh, if you guys want to try that, if, if you do try it yourself and get some good results, maybe make a video or uh, let me know what you, you find. But uh, if I was to try to get a little bit more out of this, I'd probably just uh, pull this side over a little bit more, kind of straighten it out. and. Uh, raise the roof just a little bit more so uh, let's take a look at the the ported flow numbers and uh, here's the results from doing that little bit of port work it actually picked up pretty good I'm sure it would work much better with a better valve job but uh, here's all the numbers um, hopefully this uh, helps some of you guys out to uh, give you a little bit of an idea of what to do with these iron heads if you have some and you're just trying to get a little more power out of them Maybe you're not wanting to swap to aluminum heads because you just kind of want to keep the, the stock look to the engine. Uh, maybe you just want a little more power out of your old uh, iron head engine. But anyways, uh, that should give you an idea of what to do. So if uh, you guys like this video, um, just leave me a like down below and maybe a comment. And uh, let me know if you want to see what the results will be from... Uh, Getting rid of this vein in the port, because I'm sure there are a lot of you guys that want to know that, so I kind of want to know myself. It uh, should be interesting. So, uh, leave a comment down below, and until the next video, thanks for watching.